hello and welcome to today's video and today's video is going to be about this blue lava lamp this lamp is quite a few years old and I've had it for many years and of course lava lamps are probably the most inefficient uh, lights you can get in the world if you can think of anything more inefficient than this uh, you can let us know in the comments below but inside this lava lamp is this 40 watt incandescent bulb and um, it hasn't got any information on it at all apart from inside the lamp it says a maximum of 40 watts and I believe uh, this is a bulb that I bought to replace the original one so we'll show you a bit more information on the lamp and then we'll switch it on and we'll see how long it takes before it actually starts working all right this is the bulb an incandescent they're getting quite rare nowadays quite a nice one and now we'll go on to the light itself just a cap on the top this one has a metal top on it and it's got a little thing on it saying which looks like do not drink yes do not drink I don't I'm not exactly sure what is in one of these other people have done videos of these and go into more detail this is more showing how the light works uh, basically it's a two pieces of molded glass stuck together wax and a colored liquid inside the lamp is just a screw base and a little sticker that tells you to use a 40 watt max bulb and then on the bottom is the make of this light it's lava lamp astral lamp and some other information a bit of molded plastic with some more writing on and what appears to be a number okay so what we'll do is i'm going to set this light up now and then I'm going to show the light coming on right I've um, set up this clock and basically what I'm going to do is every five minutes I'm going to show how this light is doing so this is a UK three pin plug however the wire has only two cores so the earth is not connected on this lamp so we'll plug the light in and basically when it reaches midnight I'm going to turn on the light and then I'm going to basically pause the video and then show some as we go. Right, the light is now on but you can't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the studio lights. And then every five minutes or so I'll turn the light on camera back on sorry and we'll show how it's doing okay so I'll see you in about five minutes okay it's been five minutes and as you can see, nothing of any interest has happened whatsoever. The light you can see in the background is basically coming from the street lights outside. And in the UK this time of year, it doesn't really get properly dark. So um, I'll pause it again and I'll see you when it gets to 10 minutes. Okay, we're now 10 minutes in and the first signs of life has started to happen. Uh, the bulb in the center has started melting wax. And 
a little bit at the bottom is coming through but as soon as the melted wax heats the colder liquid it basically goes solid and now what we're going to do again is pause again and I'll be back again in 15 minutes Okay, we're 15 minutes in and things are starting to get more interesting now. As you can see, the wax base has dropped slightly and there's more wax now slowly running up the inside of the colder wax and slowly building at the top. And this will keep on going until the liquid warms up enough that the wax becomes liquid in the actual warm liquid itself but at the moment you could say this is what a lava lamps are called lava lamps because what you've got is you've got a warm wax running inside of the cold wax to the liquid well, anyway we'll go back again and i'll see you in another five minutes Okay, we're 20 minutes in now and basically not a lot has changed. So I'll see you again in a bit. Okay, it's now 25 past one on Tuesday the 25th of March 2021 the lava lamp has been on now for 25 minutes and I've suddenly realized that this is the only incandescent lamp I've actually got all the others have been converted to either LED or CFLs and the only other incandescent bulbs I've got is one in the cooker and one in the fridge well anyway as you can see the lava lamp really hasn't done anything in the last 10 minutes or so so i'll pause again and i'll see you when it gets to half an hour we are now 30 minutes in Still no real change. I'll see you again at 35. Okay, it's now been 35 minutes. The 40 watt 240 watt light bulb has now been on and obviously we're in the UK so there's a 5 amp fuse to the socket and then obviously we have a 32 amp ring main which goes to the consumer unit but I'm only talking about this because should we say in the last 20 minutes or so absolutely nothing of any interest has happened I tried to do this light on uh, time lapse and basically it shows virtually nothing so it's actually hopefully working better doing it this way but again I'll see you again in about four minutes for you it'll be almost instantly all right we're 40 minutes in Still nothing really to report. So the only thing I can tell you is that the moon is starting to rise now. So if anything, it's getting lighter in this room rather than darker. When you look towards the north, you can still see where the sunset 
it doesn't really get dark anymore this time of year. Anyway, I'll pause it again and I'll see you in five minutes or so. Okay, it's now been 45 minutes and the large blob of wax at the top has just fallen down and basically the lamp is still doing absolutely nothing so we'll leave it at that and I'll see you again in five minutes right we're now 50 minutes in and as you can see there's been a little bit more activity some wax is coming back up and then slowly falling back down but we are starting to get some more activity so again I'll pause the camera and I'll see you again in five minutes Okay, the activity is increasing. The light now, this is now quite hot. You can still touch it. The wax is warm, the lid is cold. There we go. Nothing, not, just still an air gap at the top, but it has got smaller. And basically now, the lava is now, or wax, shall we say, is now literally one mass starting to move but you, the light is still yet to actually work so again I'm going to pause this video probably one more time and we'll see you when we get to 60 minutes okay we're coming up to exactly one hour and you could say the lava lamp has just started working. I call it working when you get a break and then you get bubbles falling back to the bottom, which is just gonna go probably on this one. Maybe, yep, just. And it's going to get obviously better and better the longer it's on and it, as I said it's only just started working and this lamp has now been on for one hour I'm actually quite surprised on how bright the moon is tonight been cloudy on and off all day with heavy showers but obviously at night the showers go away and we get clear skies but anyway I hope you like this video of this lava lamp just starting to work and what I'm going to do again I'm going to pause again and we'll come back in five more minutes to see if the activity's got any better and then I think we'll call it a day okay there is an hour and five minutes and the activity is increasing and I'm going to give it another five minutes to see if we can actually get it to do more than one bubble at a time but as you can see the, the one is coming down and then it's starting to build up to do a second one but it's still very slow at the moment if you want to know more information about lava lamps there uh, there are other videos around where people go into more detail about them this is mine. I haven't gone into much detail about the contents of these because basically 
uh, other people have done it and I'll, all I'm doing is showing my own lava lamp which I have had for now many many years and as you can see it's getting better and better all the time as we speak I'm too sure what's going on outside at the moment it's getting quite noisy for some reason but anyway um, I'm going to pause it once more and then when the the noise has gone outside I'll uh, come back on and we'll say goodbye well here we are one hour ten minutes in appears to be seven Trent that's currently outside looking at a water leak um, it's been leaking for a few days now so we'll ignore that but anyway the lava lamp is getting better and better all the time and what I'm going to do is say thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe and thanks again for watching goodbye